Well, I started flying when I was uh, uh, in my 20s, I guess, and I uh, it was the quickest way to get between some of the hotels. You know, if I drove by car, it could take as much as eight hours to get between two of our hotels, and then by flying, I could do it in 45 minutes. So, so it was very easy to uh, get in, excited about flying. I learned to fly on a Cessna 150, I think, and then I bought a Grumman, uh, a Grumman Lynx, I think it was a two-seater. And then I went up to a, from there to a, to a Bonanza, then to a, a Mooney, or no, to a Mooney, then to a Bonanza, then to a Piper Malibu, uh, then to a Jet Prop, and then uh, uh, and that was probably the last personal plane that I, I maintained. And then we, we started into the jets. We own four jets. Uh, we own a Citation 10, we own a, a G5, and we have two Bravos that we own. We manage an awful lot. We're, we're the biggest you know, F, uh, FBO operator in Thailand. We have a fixed based operation here. We have uh, 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 maintenance facilities where FAA approved maintenance. Uh, and we manage uh, perhaps another dozen jets and we provide hangarage and maintenance services for you know virtually every car, every plane that's in the country and many of the planes that visit. And then, you know, we, I'm also, I charter a lot. I, I'm a member of whatever, NetJets, so, uh, so I keep uh, NetJet hours for use in Europe and when I'm traveling in the U.S. or something. Uh, uh, and uh, so, yeah, it's been pretty much an essential part of our business development uh, from the early or the late 70s, I think. Well, the, the first thing was that I liked it and I couldn't buy it in Thailand. And uh, I always went to the States every year with my parents and I loved pizza and could never get it in Thailand. So I thought, well, when I got out of school, I thought that was a great idea. And I saw what was happening with pizzas around the world. So it just seemed like a, you know, a, a void that needed to be filled. And we did the same thing with ice cream and we did the same thing with, you know, burgers and and sizzler and you know steaks and salads and seafood and yeah so it was just sort of it was an easy uh, you know uh, there's not many barriers to getting into the restaurant business or into the fast food business